ABC. It's me, Roger, back to do a video. It's been over two weeks. Time just flies. Cheers to you all. Especially Mark, Dr. Deadwax. This one's for you. Left Hand Brewing Company, Milk Stout. I haven't seen that Nitro. I should check that out. Yum, yum. Glad you're doing better, Mark. I was getting worried about you. Cheers to you. Hmm. So it's been a while. In the background, probably recognize this music. Most of you should. It's the new record from Derek Higgins, Flyover. Yes, of course, I had to pre-order it. And you can see here, he's kindly signed it, uh, as did Tim Guthrie, who did the artwork. Thank you so much, both of you. Uh, Tim is Artsy Fartsy Timo on YouTube. It's into way into colored vinyl. Um, yeah, this is awesome. It's beautiful foil stamping here. And tie here. And I'm gonna open this up and show it because it's a thing of beauty. Uh, Derek really went all out on this. Beautiful printed inner sleeve. And just way gorgeous splatter vinyl. Beautiful. Uh, as you can hear, music's great. Uh, the new software you're using, Reason, I guess, uh, Derek, uh, if you're watching. Uh, really. I can hear the difference in uh, the sound and the way it's put together, it seems. Uh, I don't, great stuff. Multi-layered, great headphone listening. There's lots of little things going on that you pick up. Great. Only 500 copies. Uh, I can't believe this is going to last, so jump on it. Speaking of Derek, uh, I found this in the record store. He sold out of it, but this is Indrima, a band that he plays in with Nick Fackler, a filmmaker. And uh, this is on Derek's label. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, uh, but wow, this is great. Um, it's, it's no wonder that Nick is a filmmaker because this is a cinematic record. It's a trip. You know, it has a definite concept album feel. I can help if I know what it's about, really, but it just has that like flowing feel. And you know, aside from you know, little spoken word bits, it just unfolds like a like a like a movie. And there's all kinds of different kinds of music on here from like. Thrashy punk to electronic to sort of post rock to bulky singer songwriter. It works. Great. This is great. It's, it's just like that cover. So, yeah, I got, gotta love DC. So many talented people in DC. It's great to be hooking up with this stuff. Cheers. Um, speaking of the VC, had a VC meetup with Bill Camerata. Uh, his channel is uh, Diverata's Box of Sound. Uh, he was in town from Cleveland and we met up at Grimey's. And he was so nice, he brought me some VCLT. Uh, some duplicates that he had, and some of them I already had, but there were a couple I didn't have. And uh, thanks so much. This is. And the VCLT stuff is, I feel bad that I, I brought in my CD, but he already had it and wanted me to sign it. 
Anyway, Bill, it's fun to meet you. And thanks so much for these. Uh, the Residence Intermission. This is an EP on Ralph Records. From uh, what, like 1982 or something like that. Uh, wow. Uh, I actually don't have any residence records. Um, there's a guy I knew at the conservatory. He was way into the residence and Ralph Records in general. And kind of, kind of overloaded on it, if you know what I mean. Overdosed. So I, I have none in my collection, but I do have this now, and thank you so much. It's really cool. Uh, he also gave me this. Revolting Cox, 12 inch stainless steel providers. This is on uh, Wax Tracks. Uh, had heard of them, didn't know anything about them. I guess it's a ministry spit spin off. I never really got into ministry either. Um, but yeah, I'm psyched to have this. This is kind of cool. Uh, you know, it's that Wax Tracks kind of industrial rock thing. Um, I'll have to check more of this stuff out. Thank you, Bill. It's really cool. He also gave me his CD. Cheese Sandwich by D. Verada. This came out on Viva Sonic in 2004. Uh, this is an instrumental album of sounds and noises recorded between 1975 and 1989, then assembled and edited in 2002. It is approximately 75 minutes long. And you can see Young Bill. Uh, photos by Judy Gifford, I think, to your right. This is insane. And I mean that in in the best possible way. Thank you, Bill. Really great to meet you and your wife. Hang out at Grimey's. Really cool. If folks ever come to Nashville, you know, send me a message, we'll hook up. That was really fun. Uh, so, yeah, I got some records there, but I wanna show some mailbox finds first. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's the new, uh, I guess it's the debut album by a band called Nothing. And this is called Guilty of Everything. Uh, this is on Relapse. And I did the um, mail order only pre-order thing because, I don't know, the packaging just looked too cool to pass up. So we have th this thing, which is like a stencil. So, you know, you can tag their logo if you want. And then this is the cover of the album. Uh, so I'm really cool. Half and half. Final. And it comes with a turntable mat. Yeah, so what is this? This is um, not a metal record. Uh, I, well, there's touches, there's some black metal touches, but it's really a shoegaze record. Um, it reminds me of the Jesus and Mary chain at times. Uh, hushed vocals, loud guitars. Uh, I can't stop playing it. Nothing. Guilty of everything. Uh, this version sold out, but I think the LP can still be found. Um, yeah, great stuff. This came out at the same time, so I pre-ordered it as well. This is a reissue of Yob's second album. Tharsis. Uh, originally came out in 2003. Uh, I can't remember the label. Well, originally came out on CD and then it was reissued on LP in like 2009 or something. 
Uh, so this is like the second LP reissue with new artwork and an awesome gatefold. And since I did the mail order only thing, it's this green and purple and yellows flatter. Nice. Sounds really good, actually. Um, now, Yob, if you're not familiar with them, are a Portland-based doom metal band. Uh, so this is from 2003. They've been around for a while. Um, in my opinion, no one does that stuff better than Yob. Uh, they get the heavy riffs and the crazy drums and... Uh, and Mike Scheidt, the vocalist, does that screaming stuff so well and, and uses lots of effects in the studio to just make these nightmarish vocal sounds. I mean, if you're a fan of that, of that Doom stuff, yeah, you know, phew, this is great. Uh, Southern Lords are uh, gonna reissue another one of their records. I can't remember now what it's called, uh, but yeah. Yob. Catharsis. Uh, picked this up at Grimey's because I was surprised to see it. I, I, I kind of look for it whenever I'm there, but I hadn't, you know, I don't know. What that crazy metal stuff? This is uh, Caveller Talk. And the album is Mir. Uh, came out last year on Roadrunner. Uh, Stephanie. Wee Girl showed this record. I think said it was one of her favorite records of last year, and I heard, lot, heard lots of great things about this record. You know, it streamed some of it, and you know, wanted it, but wanted it on vinyl. And lo and behold, there it was. It's a cool gatefold. The uh, artwork's by John Dyer Baisley, the guy from Baroness. This is just plain black vinyl. Um, so yeah, Norwegian, I guess formerly death metal maybe, uh, but with like classic rock elements to it and rock and roll elements, you know, kind of, you know almost like boogie elements, um, catchy, um, and it's cool they sing in Norwegian, which is uh, kind of unusual, you know, I think you're encouraged to sing in English if you want to worldwide success and uh, and I don't know maybe it wouldn't work as well if I could understand what they were saying so I don't know but this rocks uh, killer riffs some great uh, intense vocals and, and yeah that classic rock element is fun it's, it's yeah cool um, here's a recent reissue of Call of the Mastodon which is I guess their early singles demos something I don't know it's their earliest recordings um, this is also on relapse uh, didn't do the mail order thing this is just on red vinyl yeah I love these guys uh, you know I think Brand Daler is an incredible drummer I mean to all over the place the Elvin Jones of metal I call them. Um, but Grooves. And, you know, this is early, so it's a lot more like sort of screaming, and, uh, but still longer songs and prog elements and great musicianship. I dig these guys. That completes my Mastodon album collection. Uh, anyway, this is really more like an EP, maybe. Um, another reissue, Chrome, this is their first album, Visitation, originally came out in 1976 on Siren, uh, you know, original is impossibly rare, uh, and Cleopatra's been putting the, these things out on vinyl, really nicely done, this is a gatefold. Vinyl, which is nice, and 
an inner sleeve with a new essay about Chrome, which is cool, and about the making of this album. Uh, reasonably priced, pressing sounds great. Um, yeah, I've talked about Chrome before. I, hugely important to me uh, when I first heard them in the 80s, late 80s. Um, and this is not really indicative of, of what they were to become. Uh, this is before he was created, joined the band, and it's uh, it's a little more straightforward, but still weird. Um, you know, important part of their discography. I'm super glad to have it. Really nice job on these on the issues. Uh, a couple of used things I found. Uh, I was kind of surprised to find this. This is Psychic Ills, One Track Mind. It's on Sacred Bones. I'm really intrigued by this label, uh, but you know, I don't really know where to start. Um, I have that destruction unit thing, which is really cool. Uh, I just like their whole aesthetic, you know, it has this, this top is always kind of the same, the same kind of font and then artwork underneath, and often nothing on the back. I don't know, it's just something really, uh, I don't know, I like it. So I thought, yeah, for a half the price of a new copy, it appeared on Play, um, I check it out, and it's okay. Uh, sort of a velvety Spaceman 3 kind of thing. Um, not okay. Uh, this last track, Drop Out, is kind of the most interesting one. Going to this long reverie kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, this is very cool. Um, this is Conrad Schnitzler, Ballet Statique. Uh, wasn't sure what I was looking at, actually, and uh, Bill wasn't sure what it was either. And so, you know, thankfully I have one of these, so I did a little research and I was like, oh, this looks, this looks awesome. Now, this originally came out in 1978 on Egg. This is not an original, this is a reissue from 2011 on M equals minimal. Uh, very well maybe from a digital master, probably is. I don't care, no. great electronics, great analog sequencers and uh, yeah, that stuff. Totally psyched to find this. That's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, I'm not accumulating records as quickly as I had been, uh, which is good. So, but no doubt, more will be forthcoming. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.